in this video we are going to be looking at the navigation controls uh, the navigation controls are useful in order to help us get from one page on our website to another page on the website there are three types of navigation controls we'll be talking about in this series of videos uh, these navigation controls are the site map path the menu control and the tree view control uh, and I'm going to be showing you an example of these uh, types of uh, uh, controls in a minute. The site map uh, path uh, control enables user to navigate easily to the home page or the parent page of the current page. Uh, so if you're on a page and you want to navigate the parent page or straight back to the home page, uh, this can be very useful if you had a site map path to the page. It is usually placed at the top of the page under a main navigation control. I'll show an example of the sitemap path navigation control in a website. Uh, the second type of navigation control is the menu control, uh, which is used to create the main menu of the website. Uh, I'm sure that you must have seen uh, many uh, on many different websites the menu control that they have so that you can uh, click on maybe the home, the products, the different pages of the website. Many control can be represented vertically and horizontally as a matter of preference. So when you're going to be designing your website, it's going to be a matter of preference how you want to display your uh, navigation. Even on some websites, we have uh, both on the, on the page, we have both the vertical menu and the horizontal menu just to make the uh, the the accessibility of the website to be very easy for the user. You can use the menu control to create the drop-down menus that are common on many websites. Uh, tree view, which is the last one, control is similar to the menu control because it is based on hierarchical organization of your website pages, but it is made up of nodes which is collapsible and expandable. I'm going to be showing you an example of this in a minute as well. So there is some menu. Uh, the menu item which you can hide and show you can collapse them and you can uh, display them tree view controls and menu controls can be bound to XML file and a database to get their data from them so you can bind the uh, uh, the menu control and the tree view control to a database or to an XML file you can also bind them to something called a site map uh, file but the sitemap path which is the first one I discussed cannot be bound it cannot be bound to uh, to a database so um, all navigation controls can be bound to a sitemap file which we'll be talking about so let's look at some examples so I want to take you to a web browser and show you the examples of this menu that I'm talking about so as you see we're on amazon.com website and this navigation on the left here, this one is particularly the menu type of what this is a menu. As you see, as we uh, put our mouse over each uh, category, we get a pop up. So, this is kind of the menus that you can create. So, this is a vertical menu now. So, this is a menu control with vertical um, orient uh, orientation. So, this is the menu control and this is the uh, horizontal menu control so this is horizontal so every time you click on the menu you get uh, a sub menu underneath it so depending on how you format your menu control you can use you can um, implement this style as well and if i click on more as you see i get more options so this is menu control as well but which has been uh, which has the orientation of uh, horizontal so let me show you the hierarchical uh, sorry uh, the tree view control this is the tree view menu which can be expanded so under the main so this is going to be considered as the home page I mean imagine this is your website this is going to be considered as the home page and underneath the home page we have sub pages and each sub page also have a sub page so this is apparel now and as you see we get uh, keywords underneath the apparel then uh, you can go under clothing as well and baby clothing you can go under casual and you know drill down more so these are the kind of things that you can create on your website and uh, 
and finally the um, sitemap path as you see here now uh, I'm on Apple Store and uh, you see that uh, we are currently on the design and publishing uh, section of the website and you see here design and publishing in the uh, menu so you can navigate to the parent page of the current this is the current page so we can navigate to the parent page or the parent page of the parent page or we can just go back to the home page so this is the usefulness so instead of trying to find how to instead of clicking on the back links imagine that we've drew down up to 10 pages it's very easy to go back to uh, whichever one. so we can easily just go back to shop mark or we can easily go back to the home page so this is the way to uh, use this uh, controls so in the next video we're going to start by looking at the sitemap file which we're going to add to our website and that is going to help us in uh, um, creating other uh, the three types of uh, uh, navigation control that we have in ASP.NET thank you